Hey guys, it's Velvet Dusk here, and today I'm going to review. Wait a second. Hold on. I hear something downstairs. Hmm, it is good to be back. Just wait one hey second. Who in the flying costume are you? Nah. Well, as you can see, I am a duller color than you. Yeah, I can see that. So wait, you're like me. So are you like a discorded version of me? Mm, I'm... You could say so. Oh, cool! So, are you gonna help me with this video or not? Fine. Okay, now that we're back... Wait, where did Unhelpful Dusk go? Unhelpful Dusk! Just wait one second, I need to change the room's color. Hey, purple isn't a bad color after all. Hmm. Anyways, can we please start? Hmm, yeah. So, do you want to do the worst part, or do you want to do the best part? What do you think? Okay, you're gonna do the worst part. <sighs> so, let's talk about Nightmare Moon. Hmm, alright then. Nightmare Moon is, well, Luna. We get it. You be quiet! So, anyways, Nightmare Moon is just like an evil version of Luna. We get it! Okay, fine then. And... Nightmare Moon, well, the only thing good I would say is because, well, she's jealous of her sister, and her sister might, might have been a little too overconfident. If you've seen Lullaby for a Princess, yes, I know, you cried during that, remember? Hey, that was another channel. The only thing I don't like about Nightmare Moon is because if she's gonna turn the world into eternal darkness, then there won't be any food. If there won't be any food, there's no more reproduction and there's no more ponies. And so now, since she is an alicorn and she is, maybe, immortal, then, well, she's gonna be lonely, other than her, you know, sister with her. Well, I can see that. Anyways. I give this villain a, well, how about you rate it? Uh, if I have to. I'll rate this villain a, well, I give it a 5 out of 10. And I give it a 7 out of 10. Now on to Discord. Discord. Oh man, he was such a great villain until, well, the other one. Can you stop complaining and let's review? Aren't we supposed to do that? Never mind. Discord. Well, I really like his, like his crazy antics with chaos and everything. Especially when Pinkie Pie overreacted with chocolate rain! And popcorn, and we get it. Cotton candy clouds and everything. Well, aren't you a party pooper? Hey, it's in my name. Anyways, I really like Discord as a villain. And, uh, ally, too. I mean, his crazy antics are for evil and for good. Sort of. Maybe. I think. Hmm. <laughs> On to why I don't like Discord. Discord, well, he was now babied. I mean, when he was when he was full ruler, well, he was brave. He was confident, and now with his ponies, you know this thing called friendship. Yeah, we get it. You don't like friendship. Anyways, Discord is now babied, which I don't like. 
and every time Fluttershy scolds him, he apo he apologizes. Jizes. Ha ha ha, you can't talk. Hey, you can't talk either. Shut up! So, I give this villain a 6 out of 10. Because he, he was a great villain. And I give this villain a 9 out of 10. Now on to Chrysalis. This is one of my favorite villains. And why is that? Well... Well, her plan was actually worth it. I mean, to... I mean, the other ponies are well... Well, distracted by how good she looks. Well, sort of. Well, I think. Anyways, Twilight is the only one that knows some superstitious things are going on. Except for the rest of the game, because she... Uh, the gang thinks she's local Coco. Really? You decided to put that phrase in there? Hey. My show. My rules. Got that? Fine. And so, Chrysalis' plan was actually to feed her minions. Not to have power. Not to rule. Oh, kind of. But to get food for her minions. I mean, did you even hear some of the lyrics in This Day Aria? When she said, There was no... There's no room in my heart. There isn't any room for shining armor. Because she... She... Her heart is already filled with... Oh, her changelings, her minions. And that... And that you will never betray them. Yes, well, I do agree. It's just that this is already known, and well, she got beaten by her cockiness. Of course. You know, my little pony needs to teach some kids that sometimes they can be cocky, sometimes they cannot. Didn't they already do that with Rainbow Dash? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Anyways, right. I give this villain a seven out of ten this time, and I give it a ten out of ten because I like it so much. Anyways, on to King Sombra. I'll do this one. King Sombra isn't really introduced that well, but he does have power turning the crystal ponies into regular slumped dull rocks of ponies instead of the glistening colors of the ponies we see that the colors of dull are what makes the ponies here and i actually don't have anything to complain about this villain so, I'll just let you take over. Oh, wait. I have another. Okay, then. Who was that? Oh, no one. Okay, anyways. Sombra, well, he was defeated by a freaking baby dragon. How disappointing is that? Um, yeah, and, uh, pink pretty unicorn. I mean, alicorn. Point taken. Anyways, I have a lot of good things to say about... Well, I don't really have a lot of good things to say so, about Zombra, but I really like what he did with his magic. His magic, well, is really different from any regular alicorn or unicorn magic. I really like it because I like dim effects. I I like dim effects. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So I'll give this villain a six out of ten, and I give this villain a six out of ten as well. So on to the last one, Tirak. 
Do you want to go this time? Sure. Tirek, well, he didn't really have any bad things about him, even though, well, there are several bad things about him. Tirek, he didn't know that there was a fourth alicorn, and I can see why, because even the bronies were confused if Twilight was dead or not. Agreed. And so, Sombra, well, wait, why did I say Sombra? Don't ask me, I don't know why you said that. <clears throat> Anyways, I meant to say Tirek. He's a good villain overall, but he has some slight bad issues, I would say. And what are those issues? Well... They are hard to explain. You don't have any... Any bad things to say about T-Rex, do you? No. Haha! -ha! Anyways... <clears throat> what was I about to say? Oh yeah, anyways... Man, you are bad at remembering stuff. Be quiet, you! Good things about Tirek. Tirek is OP. He has taken all of the ponies' flight, strength, and, well, magic of all of the races. He, even alicorns, except for Twilight, because Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see an old villain come back from Generation 1 or 2 or 3 or whatever where T-Rex came from. Obviously not Generation 2 because, you know, there wasn't any magic at all. Hey! Who's talking here? Hmm. Anyways. Well, that was all the main villains. And what? And, well, we completed them. Okay, so now what? Well, I mean, I guess you can go back to your home now. The portal is broken. Remember you broke the frickin' portal? Oh, yeah. Well, you can, um, live in my place? Fine. Hey guys, it's PsychoSync here, and that took quite a while because of the voice acting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, and so, I didn't really have anything bad things to say about T-Rex, and I had a lot of good things to talk about T-Rex. Isn't that strange? And so, I hope you liked this video of reviewing the best and worst things about the My Little Pony villains. May the Triforce be with you, and I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.